also uh, um, first of all uh, thank you to organizers for inviting me and um, uh, I'm here uh, present also my uh, uh, collaborator Vladimir uh, Savelyev uh, who had talked here the last time for the renormalization of Navier-Stock equation. I spoke also about the atomization process. And here uh, today I'm coming also uh, to the very old uh, problem, uh, which is turbine cascade of energy. And uh, in uh, Lyon, in our laboratory, in the Ecole Centrale of Lyon, uh, in December we organized the conference, European conference, which is Turbine Cascade 2. The, uh, again, coming back to the very old problem of Turbine Cascade. And here uh, I will um, uh, speak about the uh, ph phenomenological model uh, of unstationary turbine cascade, but in the framework of uh, scaling symmetry approach. Uh, oops. So, ah, yeah, it's not working. So, uh, um, no need to state it obvious uh, uh, that in the turbines in at very high Arrhenius number, uh, the turbine cascade idea is the key idea. And uh, the turbine cascade it, uh, uh, is uh, that in 3D incompressible flow, um, the energy is carried um, from large to smaller scales um, and uh, done at small, small scale, scales, it is dissipated due to the viscosity. And there is a, uh, um, a zone of intermediate scales uh, in which uh, the viscosity is supposed to be uh, negligible. <clears throat> and the only physical parameter in the uh, classical turbine cascade is the energy flux, is the energy flux downward to smaller length scales. So since the viscosity is um, uh, discarded, um, uh, you can uh, write the continuity equation in the space of turbulent length scale R, and uh, where here is the energy density, and here is the flux of energy, um, and V is the typical velocity um, increment on, uh, at the scale R. Uh, so then, uh, as a classical uh, cascade support, uh, classical theory uh, supposes um, the small scales uh, statistically stationary and uh, with the local equilibrium hypothesis, you can um, find that uh, the flux energy is the constant. It, it is usually denoted as epsilon. And from the simple dimensional <coughs> reasoning, uh, you can, uh, you can come <clears throat> up uh, to the famous minus one third low or minus uh, three fifths lows in the space of K of the wave uh, numbers, <clears throat> which is called uh, KO41 low. Yeah? And the uh, constant here is uh, principally unknown. Uh, and it's, it is impossible to find from dimensional arguments, uh, so and measurements gives uh, um, th this constant approximately two. There is another uh, way which uh, could be proposed. Uh, it is to uh, formulate the energy flux as a functional of the uh, <clears throat> energy density. Here is the energy decay rate, yeah? And uh, here is the energy density, and the kernel uh, is here. And you see in such a formulation, all scales are participating to contribute to the flux at a certain scale r, okay? So, and uh, uh, this kernel is uh, unknown, yeah? But uh, imagine that the cascade is so multiple, uh, uh, contributes so multiple uh, events that we can assume that 
uh, this dim dimensionless uh, kernel depends on the dimensionless variable r to r prime only. That means, imagine that we could introduce the scaling symmetry uh, in um, uh, this collective contribution of all scales. And then the continuity equation is this. Yeah? And so, um, uh, and we will work with this uh, equation, but the uh, question is uh, how to derive such kind of equation, how to derive it by phenomenologically uh, way, uh, that means from the scheme of Richardson and not from the Navier-Stokes equation. Um, but if we will have such kind of equation, if, if we will have the explicit expression of the flux of the energy, then we could find the autosimilar solution. And uh, we can define the beer flux or uh, integral of motion, uh, which will uh, drive this collective distribution to the given scale r in the flux of the energy. And then we will look at very interesting question. What is the behavior of the turbulent system before uh, uh, the kolmogorov obokov low uh, scaling law? Yeah, so, co so called, uh, what are the intermediate asymptotics as precursor of the Kolmogorov scaling law? And this is the scaling symmetry approach. So, and it was applied in uh, some, uh, somehow in many areas of physics, uh, for example, in the physics of uh, high energy elementary particles, in uh, phase transition, in fluids, in magnets, uh, in uh, polymer solutions. So, there, there is a, a system, um, a highly disordered system, and going towards smaller scales, this system exhibits some universality, and uh, this universality is insensitive to the details of microdynamics, and the microdynamics is absorbed by the uh, integral of motion, and uh, the question is how to find this uh, intermediate asymptotics. So uh, we will speak, uh, we will uh, go through the mechanism of fragmentation. So and the fragmentation is just a uh, production of random frag fragments or particles by the continuous breakup uh, of cluster. So you, you see there is a breakup, and each step of breakup um, uh, gives a new population. and. With time, we have the kinetic evolution towards smaller scales, okay? R goes to alpha R, where alpha is uh, in between zero and one. And uh, within this fragmentation process, there is a special fragmentation process proposed by Kolmogorov also in 1941, uh, in the same year when he proposed his famous uh, um, uh, turbulence theory. And uh, Kolmogorov said that, um, uh, let's consider the parent particles, uh, which um, splits into daughter particles with the distribution of alpha, of alpha, independent of the parent particle size. And uh, he described this process at the um, constant fra uh, fragmentation frequency. We will um, consider the breakup process with the frequency, which, which is the power function of the size of parent uh, uh, fragment. And here, uh, new zero is the dimensional constant. So now, first of all, let me uh, formulate the uh, um, energy cascade, cascade in the framework of fragmentation, but also um, in the framework of scaling symmetry. So the kinetic energy is handed down uh, to the smaller scales uh, at random. 
and um, with population of smaller scales, the density of turbulent energy is evolving in time. So here you have the energy density of specific energy uh, in the element dr on time t, and the energy flux is going towards smaller scales, and r is going to alpha r, alpha in between 0 and 1. Alpha is random with a certain partition function, and the energy energy is represented as a scaling transformation. So we compressed R and we compressed the function of R. And uh, you see in such a formulation, um, this energy is just a random part of energy carried from parent eddy as a uh, scaling transformation. So the uh, frequency of fragmentation mimics the turbulent energy decay rate. And there is an accumulation of zero size eddies, which mimics the effect of viscous dissipation. And epsilon is the energy flux at R uh, goes to zero, OK? So there is an energy flux, which is uh, a function of time, uh, which is function of R. But at the R goes to zero, you have the uh, viscous dissipation. Now uh, we can uh, construct, construct the population-like uh, equation uh, just in the um, uh, Uh, just here, here you have the energy coming from parent uh, particles transmitted per unit time in uh, uh, the element uh, alpha r, alpha plus d alpha r, yeah? And then you integrate over all alpha, or all, all alpha with the partition function here. And this term is the production term or the gain. And this is the loss term. And the balance of two give the uh, evolution of the energy in dr, energy density in dr. And uh, the partition function, or the spectrum of fragmentation, is normalized. And so then you get rid from dr, and you come into the integral fragmentation equation or evolution kinetic equation for the specific energy. And this is, the, uh, in fact, well-known equation uh, done with, uh, by Filipov in 1961 for the population balance equation. We just re uh, have rewritten it for the energy density. But if you integrate this equation um, uh, over R, it will be the constant. D over dt will be 0, equal to 0. And you can interpret it uh, as, a, um, as a fact that in, in, viscous, uh, in viscous flows, the mechanical energy of liquid is conserved. And we are not quite happy with uh, this. Um, equation because we have no the um, uh, energy flux here. And let me um, uh, spend uh, one minute to <clears throat> express the motivation to rewrite this equation or speaking scientifically to renormalize this equation. Okay? And the motivation is as follows. So the fragmentation equation in integral form, um, it is the ensemble of jumping uh, uh, particles. And each particle jumps, and it has no velocity in R space. There is no explicit um, uh, expression for the energy flux. And the difference between two um, uh, terms between gain and loss terms uh, may be very big uh, according to this partition function, and we don't know how to uh, ex extract one term from another um, uh, in exact way. And so uh, let us assume that we somehow can rewrite this equation 
by the continuity to type equation. And then, then, this is the evolution of finite number of quasi-particles breaking in R space. Details are irrelevant because this is a smooth uh, solution will be the smooth function. And uh, uh, there is a uh, uh, explicit expression. They will be the explicit expression. And then we can get self-similar solution. And each particle, each quasi-particle, will move in R space uh, smoothly at the effective velocity like that. Uh, and uh, uh, you see it depends on all other particles, on the position in R space, all other particles. And uh, that means that we introduce the non-locality. And uh, when we have R equal to zero, we, uh, it calls in fragmentation theory condensation of zero quasi-particles. It will mimic viscous dissipation. And the problem is to find such an equation which will give the equivalent statistic from uh, both approaches. <clears throat> so, and in order not to be boring, uh, I will just uh, show a few steps how to get such an equation uh, without any details, but uh, I'm open to uh, speak uh, about details, uh, mathematical details. So the first step, it is uh, um, to <clears throat> reproduce the scaling transformation by the development of the operator acting on the function this. And it is nothing than the Taylor expansion of exponential functions. So that's why we re rewrite the scaling transformation by the scaling transformation operator here. And then the production, production term in the integral uh, fragmentation equation may be rewritten by the exponential scaling uh, transformation operator. It gives nothing. The second step is the, uh, to use the work of Savelli and Nambu, uh, uh, which is <coughs> devoted to renormalization of the Boltzmann equation, and which uh, we used for renormalization of the navier stokes equation. Uh, in this work, there was shown the exact form of this scaling uh, transformation operator, exact form, and then we introduce this exact form in the production term in the integral uh, fragmentation equation. It is the uh, production form. Here, the exact form here with the integration with the partition, uh, partition function here. And uh, then you see the flux of energy is appearing here. And Q1 is the secondary repartition function, which is expressed by the primary repartition function. Uh, here you have the first uh, moment of the logarithm of alpha, of alpha, and this the secondary partition function is renormalized, and we can come in to the renormalization of the fragmentation equation. This is the continuity form of the fragmentation equation. And you have the expression for the flux of the energy. But uh, it doesn't help to show this, because you have unknown uh, partition function, unknown uh, secondary partition function. And you should presume, still presume, the partition function. And we presumed here the partition function. Um, as a power function in order to get auto-similar solution. So if you presumed such a repartition function, then the logarithm, the first moment of logarithm alpha is calculated exactly, exactly. And if you put here alpha power gamma, beta power gamma, and you uh, compute the, this uh, integral, it, you will obtain that 
the secondary partition function will be equal to the first to the primary partition function. So finally, you come to the uh, fragmentation equation in renormalized form or in the form of the continuity equation in the space of R with the flux of the energy. Here we used uh, uh, the alpha um, poof, uh, alpha uh, gamma is power gamma is exponential logarithm alpha gamma logarithm alpha. And in order to put the uh, power here, here. So uh, uh, we must uh, solve this equation to find analytical, um, analytical solution of this. And um, there is useful um, mathematical identity with such a presumed, uh, presumed um, repartition function. Um, for example, uh, put here the uh, um, <coughs> uh, Q alpha, and you have the uh, useful mathematical identity is here. And it will help us to obtain the auto-similar solution of the continuity equation uh, um, uh, for the energy density. For that, we propose the, uh, uh, the self-similar transformation since the f f uh, frequency of fragmentation is proportional to R power mu, then this time power one over uh, mu is the characteristic scale for self-similar transformation. We propose this self-similar transformation and we apply this self-similar transformation to the fragmentation equation, like uh, as a, this example. Uh, uh, the energy density is this. Then you calculate the derivatives of the product, and you come to two terms. And finally, you have the equation for the auto-similar solution. And we are interesting. Uh, in um, the fixed point the solution. So we are interested in how the turbulence is coming to kolmogorov obokov uh, lo uh, scaling law. This is a fix, fixed uh, point solution. So that's why in order to have the equation for the fixed point solution, we assumed here the stationarity and we integrate this equation so we have the integrated equation here equal to constant. And you see, we obtained the new parameter is the beer flux or integral um, um, of motion, which is denoted here like a J0. And we will after call it epsilon zero. And this. Um, uh, parameter, my parameter, uh, appears during the evolution when you, uh, uh, the system exhibits auto-similar uh, behavior. And then, using our mathematical identity here, just multiplying this uh, uh, expression on the left and on the right, you will have very simple equation and with the known solution and we put and if you put here the power function of r you obtain you obtain this solution in the class of a confluent hypergeometrical function okay so and uh, then you use uh, inverse self-similar transformation and you obtain finally um, the uh, solution expressed in the class of uh, uh, hypergeometrical confluent function. 
And the question, how to use this solution? Uh, if it is known that uh, confluent hypergeometrical uh, function uh, can be expressed by uh, elementary function if, para if the parameter A is integer. And if it is integer, integer then you can rewrite this solution uh, in the class of elementary function and to analyze what's going on. So, and this A, we uh, will choose from the physics of turbulent cascade. And so up to now, it was fine in our um, uh, article in 2012. And now, how to find from the physics of turbulent cascade the value of A. I, another message here is that the solution uh, is characterized by two-dimensional constant beer flux and the constant of uh, new zero in the um, law of fragmentation frequency. Oops. So from dimensional <coughs> uh, arguments, the energy density is uh, V square over R. Uh, the flux of energy is R square over T cube. Then let me uh, propose that the constant new uh, zero is also uh, can be expressed in, in terms of Beer flux. And then from the dimensional analysis, we can find mu and x. X is one over three, and mu is minus two third. And A is equal in from the solution, one plus gamma over mu. Then if uh, gamma is one, A is three in order to be in an integer. And we can, we can rewrite final solution in the class of elementary function uh, for the energy density and for the flux of the energy density, and here in the framework. And if we use the translation towards large time, very large time, then we, we will come exactly to the stationary solution, which is the kolmogorov uh, obokov uh, law. But with the constant coming from this solution, you uh, put here uh, this uh, transition, and you will get to as a constant. And now we compare with the Kolmogorov Focal 41. This uh, 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 standard definition of the second order velocity structure function. We put in the this definition of the second order of the velocity fraction uh, structure function, our long time exact solution with the constant two, we obtain this, then we integrate to obtain the structure function. We integrate and we obtain exactly C2 equal to. Okay? And I'm finishing with the interpretation of the result. So uh, here you see um, the uh, graphics of our uh, solutions. Uh, you see that uh, energy density evol involves continuously uh, from minus infinity to plus infinity towards KO41. And the um, energy flux evolves to its equilibrium equilibrium uh, uh, value at, on very large time. And it is interesting to see uh, in logarithmic coordinates. So on negative times, on negative times, the most energy is accumulated at small scales. That means that the turbulence, and this is uh, um, provocation, um, we state that the uh, following uh, those results, that the onset of turbulence is on the small scales. The gradient of velocity, small scales, acceleration is small scales, and here you see small scales, the energy density is infinity. Then, then, um, and the energy flux is also infinity. Uh, 
and uh, then at time zero, there is a second order of phase transition. The energy density exhibits 1 over R. The flux of energy jumps from infinity to the final value. And on positive times, we go to Kolmogorov uh, Obakov uh, 41 low. Analytical solution for the uh, um, structure function, structure function, and this time we go to r power minus two third. Uh, we also have done uh, uh, some direct numerical simulation in the inertial zone and direct inertial uh, di direct numerical simulation uh, gives very, very similar result with the theory for the energy density function for the flux, for the flux, and for the decay, it is not very good because there is no viscosity in our uh, uh, theory. And uh, I conclude uh, that, uh, in fact, um, what we did, we applied the renormalization group analysis, uh, which, is, uh, which was applied in many areas of physics. We applied to the um, uh, turbulence, uh, um, not on the basis of the Navier-Stokes equation, but like a scheme, uh, sm uh, larger s scales goes to the smaller and smaller, and uh, but uh, requesting that the, there is an energy um, transfer and the energy uh, conservation. And uh, we uh, rep propose the continuity equation for the specific energy in the space of turbulent scales. We obtained the exact auto-similar auto simulation in the case of decaying turbulence. And uh, we analyzed, we analyzed uh, the behavior uh, of um, the energy um, density and of the flux of energy um, as the intermediate asymptotics, as the universe, universal behavior uh, in the precursor state uh, in the final state um, uh, 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 described by the uh, kolmogorov uh, power law. And the formal scenario is what I said, that um, at negative times there is a accumulation of turbulence on small scales. At uh, time zero there is a, like a second order phase transition and energy flux jumps discontinuity from infinity to finite value. And on positive time, the distribution approach to the long time limit distribution, and uh, which is uh, Kolmogorov uh, law. Uh, but in our solution, the constant um, appears from the um, uh, analytical solution as the limit of uh, large time. So thank you.